Okay, Tuesday's math. We're ready to keep working on this. Today is pretty simple as well. It's not that different from yesterday, just a little bit different. Still got to know those multiplication facts. So we're going to do these and the ones it tells us to draw. I'm going to draw, but obviously you're doing yours on your computer at home. You can't draw it. So you just got to know the answers. Let's just remember what we talked about yesterday when we're multiplying by 10 or multiples of 10, we add one zero. Multiples of 100, we add two zeros. Multiples of 1,000, we add three zeros when we're multiplying by those and those numbers. Or multiples of those instead of 10, like 80, 100, multiply by 700, It's you're still adding two zeros. Just you've got that seven in the front instead of a one. All right, so this first one says, draw this to represent the value of the following expressions. So this first one, we have this very simple multiplication problem, two times three. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw three, and that would be three ones, right? One, two, three. So there's one group of three ones, but it wants us to show two times that many, two groups of three ones, one, two, three. So now we have one group of three and two groups of three. And together they make one, two, three, four, five, six. So our answer is two times three is six. So that was pretty easy. You knew that probably, but let's bump it on up and make it just a little harder. Two times 30. Well, how can we show 30 on our place value chart? 30 is the same as three tens, right? So let's put one, two, three three tens, that's 30. Now it wants us to show two times as much as that. So we've got one group of 30. We've got to have another group of 30, 10, 20, 30. So now we have two groups of 30. So let's count them by tens, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. We have six tens, which would be 60. And if you'll look at this problem, what's two times three? We just saw up there it was six. How many zeros did we add? One, 60. So it's like we did yesterday. We're multiplying the first two numbers and then adding that number of zeros that's in one of the numbers we're multiplying by. All right, so let's move on to the next problem. And it's two times 300. So we're going to do it the same way. We're going to represent 300 on our place value chart. One, two, 300. But it wants us to show two times as many as 300. So there's one group of 300. One, two. Now we have two groups of 300. We can count them by 100s, but I bet you already know what the answer is going to be. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. Two times three. Is six. How many zeros do we add? One, two, six hundred. All right. And the last one here on this first problem, we're doing two times three thousands. We went over here to the thousands place doing our one group of three thousand. Got to show two times that many. One, two, three. Another group of three thousand. So we've got one thousand, <coughs> excuse me, one thousand, two thousand, three thousand. 4,000, 5,000, 6,000. So two times 3,000 is 6,000. So it's 3,000, and we've showed two times as many. Again, two times three is six. How many zeros did we add? One, two, one, two, three. Both videos showed you that as well. So this is pretty simple. And I know you can do it without drawing it on a place value chart as well. We're going to do the same thing. Now remember, 20 times 7, I'm going to show you very easy. 2 times 7 is what? 2 times 7 is 14. How many zeros do we need to add? 1. 140. The way they were showing you that on the video, they were breaking apart 20 into two groups of 10, or 2 times 10 times 7. Okay? So if we do the 2 times the 7... We get 14 times 10. We're adding that one zero to the 14, so 140. So if you think about it broken apart, that's fine. 
I just like to do the first number times that number and then add that number of zeros. But I'll show you it again. 3 times 6 is 18. And I'm going to have one zero to add, 180. So that's the same thing as saying this 60 is 6 groups of 10. 10 times 6. But we're multiplying that times 3. If we do 6 times 3, that equals 18 times that 10. 18 times the 10, put our 18 down, add that one zero. So it's the same thing we're doing yesterday. We're just breaking apart this multiple of 10, 100, or 1,000 and multiplying by it, multiplying the first number of that times the whatever other number it's giving us. Okay, moving on. We've got several of these to work together today. I'm not going to break apart all these because I think you can understand it without doing that. And they've, you've already seen it in two videos. So I'm just going to work through these problems together and let you let you get to work them. What's three times four? Three times four is 12. How many zeros do we add? One, two. The answer is 1,200. Two times 800. Two times eight is 16. We're adding one, two, zeros. One, two. The answer is 1,600. Seven times 30. Seven times three is 21. And we add one zero, 210. 60 times six. Six times six. I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can see better. Six times six is 36. Going to add that one zero. The answer is 360. 400 times four. Four times four is 16. We have two zeros to add. One, two. The answer is 1,600. Four times 8,000. Four times eight is 32. We have one, two, three zeros to add. One, two, three. The answer is 32,000. Five times 30. Get my paper out of the way here. Five times 30, five times three is 15. We have one zero to add. The answer is 150. Part J, five times six is 30. Don't let that confuse you. You've still got to add the zero, one zero. The answer is 300. We can get through these problems pretty quickly. If you know your multiplication facts, it doesn't take long at all. And let's do a couple more. Five times 400. Five times four is 20. And I have to add these one, two zeros. One, two. The answer is 2,000. 8,000 times 5. 8 times 5 is 40. And I'm going to add one, two, three zeros. The answer is 40,000. And then we've got this some word problems here, but these are much simpler than those word problems we were doing last week. They were way hard, way harder than this. All right, Brianna buys three packs of balloons for a party. Each pack has 60 balloons. How many balloons does she have? Well, we know she bought three. Each pack has 60 balloons. So the equation we're trying to solve is three packs times 60 balloons in each pack is how much? Same kind of problem. Three times six is 18. Add that one zero. So in all, she bought 180 balloons. Number four, Jordan has 20 times as many baseball cards as his brother. His brother has nine cards. How many does Jordan have? So Jordan has 20 times as many as his brother, and his brother has nine. So he has 20 times nine cards. How many cards does he have? Okay, two times nine. Is 18. We have one zero to add. So Jordan has 180 cards. Look, both of these answers were 180 because 3 times 6 is 18. 
and two times nine is 18. Number five, the aquarium has 30 times as many fish in one tank as Jacob has. The aquarium has 90 fish. How many fish does Jacob have? All right, now let's think about this problem. The aquarium has 30 times as many fish as Jacob has. It has 90 fish. How many fish does Jacob have? This is backwards, isn't it? So the aquarium has 90 fish, which is 30 times as many as Jacob has. We don't know how many Jacob has. So 90, which is how many the aquarium has, is 30 times as many as what number? Well, I've got a zero and I've got a three. So I have to ask myself, what times that three would give me that nine? Do you know what times three equals nine? If you said three, you're correct. So let's see if that makes sense. If Jacob has three fish and the aquarium has 30 times as many fish as Jacob, then the aquarium has 90 fish. Is that right? Three times three is nine. And add that one zero. It is correct. Okay. Moving on. That's the last problem for today on the problem set. So you're all set to go because this is for tomorrow. You're all set to go and uh, get started on your problems. I think you'll make 100 again today. It's super easy. You can do it. Have fun.